What's going on everybody? Guess what? It's Thursday and we're doing Friday's Yards. We are ahead and I had to do it again. The boss said, you're not doing it quick enough. So she had to come and supervise. How are we doing today, honey? Not bad. Not bad, okay. So approval, do we get a thumbs up? Yep. Okay. Guys, she gives a thumbs up. Justin, how are you doing with the mowing, man? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Round three. Are you getting any more comfortable? Um, a little bit. My, what, line, my, my lines are straighter, which is cool. What's the biggest problem you have? Uh, confidence. <laughs> Pretty, that's, you know, that is the core of it. Are you afraid of the mower? No. Um, I'm probably... What am I afraid of? Obviously, you uh, say it, man. <laughs> not not yelling at me. It's more. What is it? I'm very self-conscious. I, I guess I, I, I'm thinking too much. Uh, your pants, your your pants don't make your butt look fat. No. So I don't know my what you're worried makes, about confidence. My butt makes my butt look fat. Yeah. That well, that's true. <laughs> No, so, it's just, yeah, just over, just overthinking things. And um, well, don't overthink. Get on the mower. Okay. Relax. Let your body move with the mower. Yep. And get this yard done. All right. That's it. Let's go. All right, guys, so I know the footage was shaky, uh, but let me show you his lines. Did a great job. Uh, that's Justin's work right there. Really good job. Now, of course, some are a little bit smaller than others, but come on, guys. I mean, that will pass almost any day of the week. That's, that's really, he did really good. So only a couple minor little things. But uh, I just let him go, and great job. All right, guys, we're at our next yard, the two acres. Uh, right out here. And uh, just met up with Nick Saint from One Love. Good dude, man. We had a nice long conversation, and uh, good dude. So it's amazing when you get face to face with somebody, what you learn about things that were said, man, so glad to be where I'm at today. It's all I can tell you. There's some people out there, man, that are sneaky as hell. Anyway, we're going to try to get some footage of Justin mowing on this one, or maybe me. So let's go.
All right, guys. Now, somebody asked me, how do you keep a straight line on a long run? Now, I am not the expert, but I am going to try to show you how to straighten these up just a little bit. Um, this is very bumpy, like I said, but I'll do my best. So what I did there is I just took a point straight across and Barnes Lawn Care, Jeff taught me this, you look straight ahead, you find the outermost part of the yard and that's where you put the edge of your very edge of your right deck and look straight ahead and if you can tell, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but those are probably two of the straightest lines in the yard as well as this one here started to veer off because that's a bumpy there's a hill there that you cannot really see but uh, in this you can see it really threw me off but go ahead buddy anyway that's how I do it I look at the if you want to straighten up a long run you find the outermost edge of the grass and make sure that is where you aim the very right or left side of your deck look in a straight line ahead of you as far as you can and go to that point I hope that helps Okay guys, he'll finish this up and we'll be out of here. He's not doing too bad. Um, he has a really hard time with finishing the end of a run, if you know what I mean. He's coming down to the end and he's missing all kinds of stuff because he's turning too early. So he'll get it. He's, he's doing better today. Um, the yard he cut earlier was really good, but this is the field at the back of a, of a house as you can see I did all this up in there. I'm letting him take care of that It's behind the pole barn. They're okay with it, and uh, it's a good place to train but anyway May have something in store for you later in this video, and we are doing stickers so I'll be back. So guys, we just got caught in a downpour. Oh my gosh, it's still raining. Just got this yard done for uh, Steve Worley. And uh, oh, it's an absolute mess. Right as I took my second line through the front yard, 
it just poured on us and I mean and it's still raining you can see the puddle when the mulch queen's done you can see the water still dropping in so after this we're heading home we'll see you there we are back we got rained out. Justin, show them how wet the mower is and everything. It has poured rain for the last hour. Might even be able to hear the thunder. But, uh, all right, let's do this. So, I got a couple stickers. Now, I got one a long time ago from my buddy, Matthew Lawn Care. And uh, we're going to put that on, the, I got one going on the toolbox, and what I'm going to do is we're going to have a new, uh, dump of fame on the dump trailer. Right in the front, I'm going to be putting stickers across that. But, uh, let me find a place here. Actually, perfect spot right here. If Justin can get you down here. Matthew Lawn Care, right there. Matthew, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. The next one. And uh, what can I say about this guy? Well, nothing good. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> KLC Lawn and Landscaping. I appreciate you, Ken. Thank you very much, guys. Ken is very close to a thousand subscribers. Go over to Matthew Lawn Care. Go over to KLC Lawn Care. Grab these guys up. Tell them Dr. Real sent you. Watch their videos. And uh, that's all I got to say. So let's put this bad boy up here. Oh, let me see here. I don't have a dirty lawn thug. I don't have a lawn stars. So I'm going to put Ken if I can fit it, right there next to owner lawn care. So I will put the names in the, uh, uh, up there. You know I'm no good at this stuff. But uh, I want to thank Channel Lock, Tub of Towels, Mix Mowers, Max Lawn Service, Leo Landscape and Lawn, Owner, Bush Green, SK Super Clean, Jar Landscaping, proud to use simply the best, Skag, that's for you, Danny. And uh, Worley Lawn Services, Kicking Grass, Amsoil, Lock and Lube, if you don't have one, get them, no, they don't pay me. No, look, nobody pays me. You know what I'm saying, sponsors do not want anything to do with Dr. Real. So, there you go, guys. Buy American, and as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm out of here.